is today's news. CBS News on the hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. The new Democratic vice presidential nominee, Tim Walls, introduced himself to supporters at a rally in Philadelphia last night. Thank you, Madam Vice President, for the trust you put in me, but maybe more so, thank you for bringing back the joy. Correspondent Jennifer Kuyper on what's next for the new team. After making their debut in Philadelphia as Democratic running mates, presidential nominee Kamala Harris and VP nominee Tim Walls prepare to hit seven battleground states this week. In addition to serving two terms as Minnesota governor will serve six terms in the U.S. House and tell supporters, I learned the art of compromise without compromising my values. Republican Vice Presidential nominee, Senator J.D. Vance. I think that what Tim Walz's selection says is that Kamala Harris has bent the knee to the far left of her party, which is what she always does. Former President Donald Trump calls Walz a smarter version of Harris, and he tells Fox, the governor asking for help when his house was surrounded by Trump supporters, after George Floyd's death. He called me. I said, what do you want me to do about it? I was in the White House. He said, uh, you would put out the word that I'm a good person. And I did. I put out the word. I said, he's a good person. I hope everything's good. And everybody put down their flags and took their flags with them. Mr. Trump also announced he's willing to debate Kamala Harris, even if it's not, on Fox. The Department of Justice says it's charged Asif Merchant, a Pakistani man with ties to Iran, with orchestrating a plot to assassinate Mr. Trump. CBS is Nicole Skanga. Sources tell CBS News intelligence about Merchant's alleged plot prompted the U.S. Secret Service to ramp up security assets for the former president's detail in recent weeks. The plot not tied to the attempt on Mr. Trump's life in Pennsylvania last month. Democrat Cory Bush, member of Capitol Hill's so-called squad, is vowing to soldier on after losing the Missouri primary to St. Louis County prosecutor Wesley Bell. Pulling me away from my position as congresswoman. All you did was take some of the strings off. Four men are now charged in the death of a black man in the Midwest. Correspondent Roxana Sabiri. Four former Milwaukee Hyatt Hotel employees allegedly seen in video pinning Devontae Mitchell down before his death. Each face the charge of felony murder. Devin Johnson Carson, Herbert Williamson, Todd Erickson, and Brandon Turner could face more than 15 years in prison if convicted. Video shows the four men holding Mitchell on his stomach for up to nine minutes while he begs for help. Dow futures are up 315. Now futures ahead 261. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these dash cam new adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that heavy jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 55 degrees in Oakland, California. Thank <laughs> you.